How's it going everyone? This is Tricks Meta Smash and I just wanted to say before the video gets started that we now finally have merch. I wanted to make the announcement a little bit earlier but with that being said I also wanted to try the merch for myself to really see what we're dealing with and honestly uh, it's actually pretty sick. This is a tri blend. I'm going to be showing a couple other ones on screen as well. We have a tank top as well as a hoodie sweater all these come in a multitude of different colors and what i want to do is like a special little kickoff for the merch is for the first 500 orders i want to take 50 percent of the profit and donate it to team trees and mr beast who if you don't know i'm sure you know at this point but he's trying to get 20 million trees planted and i know realistically that our impact would still be small at best comparatively but i'd still like to try and help out as much as possible so if you are interested in getting some merch as well as supporting a great cause the link will be in the description and with that being said let's get started with the video today we're going to be bringing you guys yet another nail the trick video and this video marks 10 days in a row of terry content i want to thank you guys for all the support and let you also know that we are less than 800 subscribers away from reaching a huge milestone in 20,000 subscribers on the meta of smash channel so once again i want to give a huge shout out to all of you who've supported us throughout the past year and with this nail the trick, of course, we're going to be taking a look at Terry Bogard. This is a combo known as crack shoot loops. I'm going to be showing you guys a couple different variations on how you can get it to work, as well as the different types of characters that it'll work on. For the most part, it is a very specific body type, tall mid heavies. I'm going to give this a difficulty of seven out of 10 as the inputs themselves are quite tight. I also want to emphasize, of course, with Nail the Trick, that this is strictly for style. I also want to give a huge shout out to Ronin X, who discovered this setup and posted it on Twitter. This guy posts a ton of really cool tech, so I highly suggest checking him out and giving him a follow. There'll be a link to his Twitter in the description, and I'll also have it displayed in the top right corner of this video. So first things first, I want to start off with a simpler variation of the combo because the one that Ronin displayed is very complex. If you get an up air at 0%, you can immediately buffer a light crack shoot with the special input or back special. You absolutely do need to buffer it because if you are too slow, you will miss entirely. A good way to practice this is to try it out on Simon and Richter as they happen to be the perfect size and weight to get this loop a couple of times. I also want to mention as well, of course, this is a string and unfortunately not a true combo. In Ronin's original demonstration, he used an up tilt into crack shoot one, and unfortunately, up tilt is frame seven, and even as a standing grab, which is frame six, this is still not true. At best, it is a very stylish mix up that I'm sure you can catch people slipping with. And for anyone who's been fixated and trying to figure out what is a flare, a flare is simply a shorter way of saying grab, up throw, up air, up B. So anytime you hear the word flare, know that I'm referring to this bread and butter combo. And like I had mentioned at the beginning of the video, I wanted to showcase multiple different variations on how this combo may play out and give you guys a couple of different ideas on what you can experiment with. And with that, that's going to be it for this video. Once again, a huge shout out to Ronin X for finding this setup. And as always, this is Tricks from Meadow Smash saying thanks for watching the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this.